Hey guys, it's Sophia. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do this look here. It is a all drugstore, um, pretty simple, everyday look I would consider. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy. If you would like to see this look, stay tuned. I just wanted to start doing these YouTube videos for fun. I am not a pro. I learned everything from other YouTube makeup artists or whatever they're called, inspirers or inspirators whatever so that's my disclaimer all right so i'm going to start off with this new um nyx hydra touch primer it's new to me i don't know if it's new like by nyx or anything like that uh poopy i probably won't be able to open this okay Alright, so I want to use this because normally I use like pore refining or um, pore minimizing, I mean, or mattifying mass. So this is just like a high, I mean, mattifying primer. So this is just like a hydrating primer. Uh, it feels good. It feels, it feels very like either, I don't know, like water based or silicone based. It's cooling and refreshing I started this kind of late I wanted to start this about like two hours ago because now it kind of looks like the sun setting so hopefully the lighting doesn't mess up I am very pasty though I like almost match my walls oh I put a lot up there let's put some here I have a mirror right next to my laptop. It is the cutest mirror. Look at this. Okay, I'm done. Um, next to my laptop so that while I'm putting on, I got bird feathers. While I'm putting on my makeup, I can actually see instead of like looking in the screen, which I need to look at the camera, not the monitor. But I'm trying to make sure everything is still focused because that's been my problem lately. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off with this Fit Me foundation by Maybelline and um, I wrote down all the prices to everything so this foundation is $5.99 on tar at the Target or on Target website or on the Target website so I just went ahead and used Target as my reference for all the prices that um, I looked up for all of these things um, because for the most part, that's where I go unless I go to Walgreens because I use a lot of my rewards points from Walgreens to buy my makeup. But um, I'm using the matte and poreless one instead of the dewy one because ultimately I do like a more matte finish um, instead of the dewy finish because throughout the day my face, I mean, naturally gets like some oily spots on my t-zone and yeah I have very acne prone skin too but I have very dry skin especially right now because it's like freaking snow apocalypse well not really anymore okay so that is one coat I'm not really sure if you guys can tell but um it's not full coverage, it's more of a, I don't know, sheer to medium coverage. Okay, so that is done and over with. I'm putting that aside. I use Real Techniques. I buy these from Walgreens, Walmart, the PX, Ulta. They're my favorite to use. I have a few that I want to try that are also drugstore that are different brands. Excuse me. So now I'm going to take my concealer. The concealer I'm using today is the um, Maybelline Age Rewind. Eek. Okay. So yesterday when I did this look, I recorded because I have a goal to where I want to post a video by the end of, um, let me go ahead and do that on my lids. A video by the end of this weekend I look so crazy right now by the end of this weekend and um so my setup upstairs I use my vanity 
um, like makeup area that I, I made and I put my tripod in front of that so I can see the viewfinder through the mirror but I wasn't wearing my glasses so what I thought was in focus was definitely not in focus so yeah that was great but I was totally feeling the makeup I thought it looked great so I literally just go I know people like to use like this end I like this flat end and I'm just going I pat out I go in and I pat out and I patted my eyelids so that when I go in they're nice and when I just get down this looks a little silly but whatever so I've got my foundation down I've got my um, concealer down so I'm gonna go in with my Eagle Tools brush. I got this from Ulta, but you can get it from Walgreens. They were out at Walgreens. It was like less than $10 for this thing. And I'm just gonna go in. I'm just using a pressed powder by Maybelline. It's the like the matching powder to my skin tone. But I'm just gonna go in in those areas that I concealed. I'm using this as like a setting powder, I guess. All right, done. And then I just started doing my brows, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing them correctly or not, but I like the way they look, and I think that's really all that should matter. So anyways, I'm using this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit that I got from Walgreens. It was $2.99 at Walgreens. And I, I like it. I will say that the one that I use normally is the Ulta Beauty brand. And that one, I don't think it's much more. Well, it is, I guess, maybe like $5 more expensive, if that. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. I just like the brush in that one better. This one comes with a little, um, like, tweezers, which I thought was kind of cute, especially, like, for traveling. But, anyways, I'm going to be all up in my grill right now because I don't know how to do this from a distance. But, um, so I have my little container that I got from Dollar Store in here. I'm just looking for my spoolie. This spoolie is a e.l.f. brand spoolie, and I'm pretty sure I got this also from the Dollar Store. I started shopping a lot more lately at the Dollar Store because I started watching this girl named Bargain Bethany on YouTube and she does a whole bunch of different like crafts from the dollar store and I'm always trying to like find a craft to do on the weekend because I'm bored and I have no life and no friends which I do have friends but I just don't leave the house all right so I'm just gonna go in very lightly I'm just following my hairline I don't make my brows any bigger than what they already are I just really just fill them in because I just want them to stand out a little bit more than what they do once I get to the front, once I get here, what I do is I do upward strokes to kind of like mimic a hair. So we're back. I'm, a, I'm done. Done touching that. All right. So I just went in to make this one a little bit bigger to kind of match because I like being equal. I like. I don't know. Anyways, so I'm going to use my brush from Wet n Wild. I got this at Walgreens, but I also saw it. Actually, I have two of these. I got one at Walgreens, the other one at the dollar store. The one at Walgreens was 99 cents. If anyone really cares to save that, you know, cent. It smells so good. Like, this is actually like 10 to $13, depending on where you buy it and what shade, because I got the light bronze, but the regular bronze was $13. And on this one, I just go right at my cheekbone, and then I make sure that the it goes up. I don't know if that makes any sense. Probably not. All right, and then because I am a chunky monkey, 
I'm going to follow my jawline to make it look like I have a jawline because I don't. So now I'm just following my hairline. I don't know why people do this. I guess to make your like forehead look smaller. I got a big forehead, so I definitely need that. <coughs> but I like get right into my hairline. And then I just make sure not to connect. Some people also contour their nose. I don't contour my nose. I'm not going to contour my nose because half the time I do, it looks like crap. All right, so bronzer. All right, so now that that is done. I am going to go in my, with my Wet n Wild Color Icon Quad in the color Hooked on Vinyl. I got this at Walgreens for $2.99 and I just really like the colors because I prefer fall colors um, and whatnot. Okay, so I am going to use the rest of my Wet n Wild brushes that were either bought at the dollar store or at Walgreens for $0.99. Cents. And because I prim I primed, I concealed my, my lid and they're already like a solid color. I am not, I can start to see, I can see texture in my skin. I'm not going to do like a base color. I'm just going to go straight into this, ooh, let me not mix it, top color here. It's very powdery, but for $2.99, I mean, whatever. And we're just going to go straight into that crease over and over again until... I reach the color that I want. It goes on very light, especially on like my skin tone. I sound very monotone. I should probably be more excited. Which this is exciting. Especially because I'm gonna actually post this one. And that's like really what scares me the most because I'm scared there's gonna be people that are gonna look at this and just be really evil and like say mean things. Cause I'm not trying to be a pro. I'm not trying to be an expert. I'm just doing this for fun. I'm doing this to like talk about life and stuff. And I don't know, just get more comfortable within my own skin, I guess. Cause I'm not. So all I did was just go into my crease. It's very, very light. Like it's not, it's not noticeable. This is why I want this to be like an everyday look. But um, yeah, I'm. It's like very light. I know. We're going to work with them. It. it looked really good yesterday. And then I'm going to go in with this like fluffier. I don't know if you guys can see. Whatever. Yeah. I'm going to go with this like fluffier wet and wild brush. It's kind of flat, but it's still fluffy. I like this one. This one's like flat, flat. And I'm going to take the glittery color down here. I had to use a lot of this yesterday to get it to like. Um, actually show and I think ultimately alright I gotta move this mirror ultimately I ended up um, just using my finger yeah I'm just gonna use my finger I got some crusty lids they're like really scaly and I'm just putting this on my actual lid like not like a little bit's covering that crease like area that we just um put that like orangey color on but not a lot so you can't really tell like that I don't know if you could tell or not okay so there's that and then I'm gonna take that flat brush here and I'm gonna go into this white color up here and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone I actually really enjoyed this color yesterday this is probably my favorite part of it all this will probably bring my brows together hopefully make them not look so crazy and then I don't know if you guys could tell but I'm literally just going like right underneath my arch and just kind of like blending it in and just highlighting that brow bone This, the only thing I don't like about this Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow is the fact that it's so powdery, like it gets everywhere. And 
and I'm going back in just with like residue um, transition color and just making sure it gets blended so it's not like stick out your face obvious that the lines aren't aren't blended out all right so now I'm gonna go in with my elf uh, angled blush brush I also can get this at the dollar store for a dollar or I can get it from Walgreens I think at Walgreens is a little bit more expensive but um, I'm using the Milani in Luminoso um, it's like a peachy color I enjoy my blushes if you hear any squeaky toys or see any dogs running in the background that's my children okay so I put my I go right above the contour that's it and then um I oh I forgot and I forgot this yesterday too I don't know why okay so I'm gonna go in with the uh, the the brush that we use to put the highlight I'm gonna go in with the transition color which was that orangey color and I'm gonna bring it right underneath my eyes I'm gonna like follow my lash line with it and just kind of like just make it visible enough that you know you know what I can see that it's there but not I mean it's a very light color like I think I was only able to really tell it was there in the picture and I'm, I'm just gonna follow my lash line if I wasn't like talking and doing this on this on um like recording this this look will probably take me only like 20 minutes altogether I did the yellow now I'm gonna go in with that like bronzy color and do the same thing this bronzy color does not stick to the brushes though I will say that it does not stick to the brushes it probably is better like if you use your fingers but I can't use my fingers for that actually you know what let me try something else I have an eagle tools brush that I got in a kit a couple years back I'm gonna see if these bristles work better and I'm just kind of using like a smaller end brush and again this does make it a little hard to see like it's not supposed to be obvious that it's there okay so now that that's done I got powder in my eyeballs okay so now I'm gonna go in with the um it's called the wonder pencil by NYX I got this at Target they had a little like um eyeshadow on it and I'm just gonna go on my um waterline so I'm just gonna go on my waterline this is just a nude color and instead of using white I like using nude I was using white for a while and I just kept feeling like it made me look like a clown but the nude kind of blends in with like your skin Ooh, my eyeballs watered and but it just opens up your eyes and I feel like especially when I smile my eyes kind of get smaller mm, my eyes are watering so bad they always do when I do anything with my eyeballs so it's not like a huge huge difference but I feel like it's enough of a difference to like definitely do it and then this is my holy grail I don't know why I always beat it like this or shake it or mix it whatever um you know, I'm missing something else but anyways it is the L'Oreal telescopic mask mascara I don't no, I've always used this. I love it. I buy it all the time. It is less than $10 at the drugstore, any drugstore. 
but it is like one of the most lengthening mascaras ever and I absolutely love it. Um, I haven't tried the new L'Oreal Lash Paradise one. I bought it. It's upstairs, but I'm going to wait until this is over before I use that one because you should only use your mascara for three months. Just saying. All right. So there goes my top lashes so I curled my lashes yesterday I didn't want to curl them today now I'm gonna do my bottom Ooh. all right all right so I'm almost done and I mean the ones I was looking for that I knew were good highlighters from the drugstore just from like doing research on YouTube, on Pinterest, and on um, like sites that people talk about dupes and stuff. But what I did find, and this is sold at Target and it is sold at Ulta, it was $1.99, but it was this um, nude highlight by Essence. And all right, so I'm gonna use my fan brush from Wet n Wild. I don't normally like using these fan brushes. I may be, I may change my mind now. We'll see. But I don't normally like using them. I don't feel like they do what I want to do. I prefer to use a brush like this instead. So. Hmm. Not bad. I might take that back. This is also 99 cents bought two of these I shouldn't tell people what I buy though I'm not people but person in that world can you guys tell so this is just a very subtle highlight I like a strong highlight I like to shine oh my gosh well I don't like to shine from like oily I like to shine when it comes to my my highlight like, talk about fierce. I feel fierce when I got some good highlight going on. I kind of got into my hairline a little... Uh, mm, kind of got into my hairline a little too much. I had to fix that. All right, so I'm just going to get the top of my nose. Even though my nose is really dry. I was just making sure it wasn't powder, but my nose is, like, scaly dry. All right, that's not going to work. So I, use, I just use my finger if I need, like, a good... But this is just, like, a nude color. It doesn't, like... And then I'm going to get my Cupid's bow. Um, but yeah. It's nothing serious. Alright. Because this is getting to be really long. So I'm trying to hurry. We're going to finish this look off with put some chopstick on my lips because they're crusty I got some crusty ass lips right now sorry mom I said a bad word all right so I'm going to use the Maybelline matte lipstick by color sense or Maybelline color sensation matte lipstick in the color of touch of spice today all right that's better I normally line my lips. I do like lining my lips. It helps keeping them f from feathering. But this is what I did instead. That's all I'm going to say for now. Bye. Hey guys. So I actually just finished recording. But um, as I'm editing, I realized that there were just certain things I um, left out. So I went back and I just kind of like circled my finger into the highlighter. And I put on the inner corner. Inner, in innermost corner of my um, eyelids and then I also use my finger and then I just brush it down and um, you know I really like highlight I'm sorry and then I go back and I just do this and then that's really how I finish up my highlight like that's literally how I finish it if I'm not recording I'm trying to like I'm like so I don't know like 
oh my gosh, I gotta make sure I do this. Oh my gosh, I gotta make sure I do that. And then I finished. I got, oh no, that was my hair in my mouth. <laughs> Lovely. And then I finished off with this NYX um, matte finish. It's just a, it's just a setting spray. But I mean, all this stuff I literally got at Target. Um, actually, some of the stuff I got at Ulta, but they're available at Target as well. But yeah, so that is it. I hope you guys join me again. Um, but yeah, so, or if you guys have any critiques or any advice, or if there's anything you really want to see, please let me know. Um, I'm open to any suggestions. But regardless, bye guys. Have a good day.